Creating a finance charge memo works similarly to how we create invoices and reminders. Creating a memo involves filling in a header and lines. And we can do that by going to the finance charge memos page. So we can create uh, finance charge memos either by running the create finance charge memos batch job under process in the ribbon there. If we wish to create memos for all relevant customers, it's a bulk job. Alternatively, we can create a new memo, fill in the header with the customer's details, and then under, we have to get to it through more options, actions, functions. We have the option to suggest finance charge memo lines, uh, and that's a batch job that will fill in the lines for that particular customer. The batch jobs contain different options for us to apply conditions on whom these memos are created for. Without any filters, the memos will be created only for customers who have outstanding balances. For each currency in which the customer has overdue customer ledger entries, though these lines will only be created if the currency on the customer ledger entry is the currency on the header of the finance charge memo. And lines will be created for all overdue open and closed customer ledger entries, regardless of the entry's document type. So on the request page here, we can have a posting date and a document date. If we want, we can filter on the customer or the customer ledger entry. For now, we'll use no filters and we'll hit OK and we should see some entries or rather memos created. We can open one of these to take a look. And we can see the customer's information is on the header. This is a lot like how it looks on the reminders as well. We can also see the lines that are on this memo. And on the memo, we can see what documents these lines relate to. The remaining amount of the ledger entry, that's outstanding, as well as the interest amount, which is represented in the amount field. And this is calculated based on the remaining amount. And finally, we can see that our ending text has been populated with a total value of what is owed.